Somebody broke my furnace. Whoops. So doing the whole foundry thing at home uh, tends to be more work than you see in a lot of people's videos. Uh, the the furnaces, they're they're not they're not going to last forever. Uh, they, they require some some constant maintenance. Even if things are rated for really high temperatures, uh, you're dealing with really high temperatures. Like mine gets white hot sometimes, uh, and uh, that's caused some interesting things with the furnace. And I think we should take a look at those. Last time I did furnace maintenance, we looked at the lid. Lid's fine. Don't worry about the lid. Oh, the humanity. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty bad in there. So a couple things happened. One, my plinth block is, is cracking more and more and more every melt. That's fine though. It, it supports the plinth just fine. There's still some crap here that I think is, um, Chirpy suggested this was borax coming through the copper melting crucible because they used to flux that with borax. Might be melting through. Who knows, but... Yeah, that's that's not doing well. It's 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 still a brick. I mean, what does it have to do, right? But in here, oh no, you see some evidence here. I spilled a bunch of copper in there. By which I mean I was throwing like copper pipes in the top, and they fell on the sides while it was burning hot, and they just melted. So this this is what happens when you pry that up off the bottom. Here was the piece of copper that I spilled down there, and there's the uh, satanite coating that came with. So interestingly enough, Satanite has a high enough uh, temperature rating that it can handle molten copper, but it's not very tough. So uh, yeah, that wasn't good. You know, to fix that. Got some more down here too. This blackening, I wonder if that's just because this is where the fire comes in. And especially when it's warming up, I don't have the mixture quite right. So we might get some sooting from that until it heats up. The lid, however, looks, looks very different. The lid looks a lot like this. You know, no black soot, but that's not in direct flame either. Also all this crap, and no idea where all that came from. Last interesting thing to note, what's that black crap? That's where the burner goes, the flare. And uh, the, the flare on the end of the burner looks awfully melty, which is strange because it's made out of steel. Hmm. See? The lighting's not very good out here, but those threads look pretty, pretty lumpy and that's not doing too great. Not too great at all. So the general plan for repairing this, uh, is to vacuum out all the garbage that's in there that I don't know where it came from, chip up any loose satanite, uh, see if I can get more of that molten copper out of there, or solid copper, before it turns molten again, and then, you know, clean it up, recoat it with satanite, and then take it through the, the process. I've been over this before in another video, so I won't, I won't show it all again, but basically, you paint on the satanite, you mix up the powder with the water to a sour cream consistency. I am so hungry right now. Uh, you paint it on uh, up to like quarter inch thick, let it air dry pretty well. Then you hit it with heat intermittently, let it you know release more, more moisture and then cool off and then release more moisture and cool off until all the moisture is out. Then you heat it up to, to red hot and then let it cool. And then you're good to go. So I'm not gonna show that whole process, but hopefully this very short video has given you a, a little snippet into what it's like uh, first having Satanite coatings on a forge or a furnace but also what it's like to maintain this kind of thing, to keep it going, because it, it does take some work. Otherwise, you know, the, the whole thing collapses. And it took a lot of time to make this thing. I don't want it to just fall apart. You know, it's like never changing the oil in your car. Like, that's stupid. Cars are expensive. Simple maintenance can keep them going for much longer. So yes, do simple maintenance. Also, side note, one of the wheels I welded on this cart is falling off. I think I'm gonna wait till it falls off entirely before I weld it back on because why do what I just said about, about maintaining things and simple maintenance? Why not just make it a huge project when one of the wheels fell off, when the thing is red hot in my driveway, and on and on and on? Because that makes life interesting, doesn't it? Ah, the sweet taste of hypocrisy. Anyways, I tested the newly repaired burner on aluminum last time, and it went very, very easily. Uh, I, I expected it. Aluminum's easy mode. Copper's a little harder. Uh, I have no doubt it'll melt copper because I melted copper before I fixed it and now it's better than it was. Uh, but next time, we're gonna go for hardcore mode.